Well, I always wanted to design fashion yeah. since I was younger, and then I went to London College of Fashion to do a foundation course. And then after that, I kind of discovered my love affair with shoes, so to speak. I always loved footwear, but I think um, I discovered the design side of it more when I was doing my foundation course. I kept designing accessories to match every outfit, basically. I think I loved them without knowing how much I loved them. Um, and I think the thing with the design accessories is it's more, I think it's just the form and function, it's making an object wearable, so to speak. On a personal level, I, I like to dress in a more classic way, and I guess my look is classic, but then I, I'm playful with my accessories. Well, at the moment, we've got Overboard, which is featured behind us here, which is the Spring Summer Collection, which is inspired by things above and below sea level, so to speak. So we've got a lot of nautical inspiration, and then that said, we've got lots of natural wonders under the sea, such as coral features heavily. Um, we've got a few crustaceans, such as lobsters. That's one of my favorite shoes. Use, the Elsa and um, the little starfish mermaids definitely a favorite of mine I collect ceramic mermaids so I featured them heavily in this collection and then going on to prefall um, which is called I spy is a bit more of the cheeky um, naughty but nice collection I like to say so we've got lots of pretty bows but at the same time we've got a lot of leather and zips my love of the 40s and the 50s, I was inspired. Betty Page was a pinup for this season. I always have some sort of a pinup. It always refers back to the 40s. For spring, summer, they were mermaids. And for pre fall, it was Betty Page. Well, it's always, it always starts with a feeling. Um, I like to portray a feeling in my collections. And that's why I love having stores, because you can transcend that. So, you know, from the candles that we light to the flowers that we have, it's all about telling a story. So. You can start, you know, with materials and colours, or it could be a certain person, such as a Carmen Miranda, and then that can transcend to doing a collection of fruit shoes, which I did in the past, to um, a mermaid, which then, you know, its surroundings. So, a movie, music, it's, it's everything. There's all little, little, it's like a little puzzle that comes together, but it's always a feeling. For fall, I was heavily inspired by China. It might have been subliminal, as I knew that I was opening here in Hong Kong. Um, I think it's about celebrating, I guess, places when I am inspired by a place, because some of it is somewhat tongue-in-cheek and obvious, and it's always from an outsider's perspective, so it's taking the things that one, I guess, an outsider might think of when you think of the place, be it Paris. I mean, it was, you know, it had croissant bags and perfume clutch boxes and poodles on heels, so it was like a very cliche view of Paris, but in a, in a beautiful way, Hi, you know, Eiffel Tower sandals. So with China, it was somewhat the same kind of thing, and China is very ornate and it has very beautiful things that are almost readily designed for you whether it be beautiful lantern handbags to panda shoes and lucky cat high heels so it, and you know bamboo so all the kind of obvious things that you'd think of as an outsider and then celebrating that and putting them all together.